In this video, we're learning every single possible way to zoom in DaVinci Resolve, and I bet you didn't even know one of them. Let's do it. Here I have a shot of a real nice house, but let's say I don't want to show any of this stuff out here. I just want the good stuff. The house and trees combination. The easiest, most basic way ever to just zoom in on a shot is to select it, go over to the inspector, and right here where it says zoom, you just mouse over this one and click and drag it to the right. That's going to zoom into the very center of the video, and now this is the framing. If I like how it's zoomed in, but I want to kind of change the position a little bit, I can just use the position here to kind of reframe this a little bit. And now we have this nice kind of zoomed in version. So that's level one. The other way I can do this is go right here to this little button and click it once so it turns white. That's going to give us this little transform box around our video and I can grab any of the edges and just zoom it up like this. I can also position it, rotate it and do all that kind of stuff in a more interactive fashion. And if I want to get rid of these handles and everything, I can just click on that little icon again. And now we have that zoomed in. Beautiful. But when you clicked on this video that said zoom, you might not mean just cropping in on the image. Maybe you mean actually zooming. Here's how you do that. If you want your video to just zoom the whole time, you can select it and then go to the inspector here on the edit page and select dynamic zoom. We're just going to turn this little switch on. And what that's going to do is start zoomed in and kind of zoom out over time. All right, so it starts zoomed in and it zooms out. We can also, when we click on dynamic zoom, we can switch the ease, which is basically if it slows down before it stops. And we can also swap it so we can start wide and then zoom in or start zoomed in and then end up wide. We can ease in and out. Let's have this zoom in. So it starts like this and then it slowly zooms in a little more. That's kind of nice. And let's actually zoom this out a little bit so we can see this a little better. We start like this. And then we zoom in a little bit. That's cool. Now this is a little bit hard to see. So let's adjust how much zooming is happening over here in the same little spot as our little overlay toggle. We can hit this down arrow and bring up a cheeky menu. The third one down is called dynamic zoom, and this will show the framing of the start and end points of the dynamic zoom. So right now we're starting wide and we're ending zoomed in like this. If I hit swap, it's going to swap those colors. We're starting zoomed in and then ending wide. Let's actually start wide and zoom in. And then we can take each of these and we can move them around. And so we'll just zoom right into this window, just crazy like this. Awesome. And then I'll turn off our overlay here and that's actually going to show us the movement. So now we zoom into the window. See how that works? Isn't that fancy? It's so easy. And so you have a lot of control just with this dynamic zoom. But the dynamic zoom is only going to animate from the beginning to the end, this range. And so if you want this to zoom quicker, you kind of have to do some work yourself. And so I'll turn off the dynamic zoom, make sure we reset all of our transforms and everything. Now we're just back to a regular mode. We can actually keyframe the zoom ourselves. Let's say we want to go through the middle and then we just kind of want to snap zoom in. We can do that by just keyframing the zoom. So I'll just click on this little keyframe diamond. Maybe I'll keyframe the position as well. And we can open up our keyframes panel by clicking this little button here. That'll show our keyframes down here. And let's just go forward maybe a second or so. And then let's zoom this in. We'll zoom it in a lot and position it like this. And now we have two keyframes, one here and one here. So now as we play this back, it's just going to go whoosh like that and zoom in real quick. The only thing is that it isn't eased. And so what we can do to ease this is go up to our keyframes panel up here, which is a little bit more fancy. And we can switch to this little tiny button right here that switches us to curve editor mode. Using this curve editor mode, we can select all of the keyframes and then click this button right here, which is going to ease them. See how easy this is? See how easy it is? You see now we have this nice kind of smooth animation there. And let's take a look at this. Oh, yeah. You see how that see how beautiful that is? Just zooms right in. So now you have the ultimate control over the timing and the amount of zoom and everything just by doing the keyframes here yourself. This is a great way to do it. Doesn't take too much time, but I'm going to show you a bonus tip also. For those of you who don't really feel like setting your own keyframes, our good friend Mr. Alex Tech has made quite the utility for zooming in. So I'm going to go to my effects and under effects under magic toolkit, there is something called magic zoom. And I just got the free version real quick, which you can get to by going to MrAlexTech.com, going to free and clicking on magic zoom. Type in your email, they'll send you a download link. It's really easy. Here's what this does. I can take this and drag this over here like that. And look at this. It zooms in, holds there for a little bit. 
and then zooms out. And you have all kinds of really easy controls over here. I can tell this to just zoom in instead of in and out. We can adjust the easing of the curve. We can enable camera shake. So I'll just add a little camera shake, maybe take this down a little bit. Add a little bit of camera shake to this, keep it fancy. We can toggle motion blur on and off. There's even these quick little presets to zoom into the top, left, right, bottom. You could even tell this to do a constant zoom. We can adjust the zoom amount, how long it takes. So it can just really punch in. This is just an insanely well done way to zoom things. So if you find yourself zooming things all the time, magic zoom, it's free. I mean, come on, what do you want? So that's the basics on how to zoom. By the way, if you want some of this footage so you can practice your edits and your zooming and your visual effects and your editing and your color and all of that stuff, there's a link right here to get that for free. And you can use this footage to follow along with our motion tracking video, which is available right up there and get your skills going for free. You know what I'm saying? It's a good time. Thanks for coming by.